Hey Pisces, thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. My name is Chianti and I'm going to bring us a love reading for the end of June, beginning of July 2020. Again, this is going to be for the baby sharks, the water babies, the uh, fish, the mermaids, Pisces, and love for the end of June to July for June 20, uh, for, uh, the end of June, beginning of July 2020. Um, this, if you're cross watching for a Pisces, it can always resonate from your perspective, guys. Remember, this is a general reading, so all messages won't resonate for every Pisces on the planet. It's intended to be about love, but it could be about family, friends, other situations. Okay, guys. If the re <clears throat> the messages resonate for you, please make sure you give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share. And if you're interested in booking me for a private reading, my information is in the description box below. Baby sharks, I hope y'all out there doing safe and well. Um, Spirit is uh, guiding me to let you guys know that if you've been feeling a little down and, and your energy been a little out of whack lately, it's, it's not just you. You're not alone, okay? Energy's been really heavy. I had to step back and take a little break myself because I had some things going on. I appreciate y'all patience and I appreciate y'all checking up on me, okay? Let's see what Spirit has for us for the baby sharks. What's the current entry for the baby sharks in love for the end of June, beginning of July, spirit? Give me messages for the Pisces. Give me messages for Pisces, spirit. Make it plain for me. Allow me to give my baby sharks peace, love, light, and clarity, okay? What's going on in our pond, spirit? Messages for the Pisces. Messages for Pisces, spirit. Guys, hear my air conditioner in the background. I apologize. The cars aren't popping yet. We'll see. Okay. Two of Pentacles. Okay. And this is this is earth energy, but I'm getting strongly that this is something about juggling. A decision, choices, options. Somebody could be feeling overwhelmed here. Okay. Let's keep going. Give me more for Pisces and love. The Five of Cups. A disappointment. Okay. Some of us may have a decision. This is a... Uh, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, but we may be juggling a decision, okay? There could be something about a disappointment or something about a decision that needs to be made that may end up with someone being disappointed here. Some of us could just be feeling disappointed and overwhelmed and juggling too many things, okay? Give me more for the Pisces in love. The Four of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. Okay, so this is about connections, commitments, collaborations. Give me more. You could be dealing with the fire sign. You could be dealing with another water sign. This could definitely be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Give me more for the baby sharks. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So this is about, um, the Knight of Swords could definitely be about taking a swift action, okay? Communication, taking some sort of fearless action. Some, some of us could be definitely juggling, severing a connection here. Give me more for the baby sharks. One more for the Pisces and love for end of June. Beginning of July 2020, the Emperor, Divine Masculine Energy, Aries, Taurus, Aries, Taurus Energy here. What's at the bottom of my deck? The Three of Cups. A reunion, a reconciliation, or a celebration, a Five of Wands, the High Priestess. Okay, so this is what I'm feeling here, Pisces. Well, oh, and it's the Two of Wands under here. Okay. Okay, just sword. Some of our, some of you are definitely dealing with an air sign. Could be dealing with the earth sign, a fire sign. I got Gemini in particular here. Taurus uh, or Aries. There's a divine masculine energy here, male energy, a boss on authority figure here. But I'm seeing, it, it looks to me like, Pisces, put yourself where you go. I always tell you guys, this is energy, okay? So put yourself where you go in this scenario. But this is what I'm picking up on the energies here, okay? Because I do have a boss on authority figure here, an emperor, divine masculine energy here. This could be a boss, a business owner. This could be a husband or a father, okay? Figure. He's involved in here somewhere. But I have here someone here having to make some sort of decision. Someone could be feeling overwhelmed, okay? They could be, I don't know why I'm feeling like someone is juggling some obstacles here. And they could definitely have some choices and be feeling overwhelmed. I have the Five of Cups, which is being disappointed, heartbroken. Some of us are definitely juggling too much and are tired, okay? I'm definitely getting some tired energy here. But someone could definitely be disappointed about juggling too many things. There could be some sort of... um. There, there's something about, there's a soulmate connection here. And there's somebody that's overwhelmed and juggling too much and disappointed. 
Then I have the Four of Wands here, which is something about a divine connection. Okay, this could be a collaboration. Someone could definitely be in a collab, juggling, ending a collaboration that, that they're feeling unfulfilled in, they're disappointed. Someone could be juggling how to end this collaboration, but there is something about a collaboration here, a divine collab co collaboration here, okay? Someone could be juggling too many things and just one piece in their home. There could be someone could be having too much chaos in their home and getting ready to put an end to it, okay? And then I have the Knight of Swords, which is Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy here. But this is the Knight of, this is like, this is someone being um, fearless and brave. This could be the Knight of Severance. Someone could take be taking some sort of swift action or speaking some sort of harsh truth and facts about being disappointed in a connection. And then I have this divine masculine energy here, Pisces. Put yourself where you go in this scenario. But I do have Pisces, females, you could definitely be disappointed in this divine masculine and considering um, severing a connection, Pisces male, this could be how you're feeling about something, okay? But there's definitely a, a Pisces female, this could be your divine masculine in another connection, feeling very disappointed and figuring out how to sever something, okay? Just put yourself where you go in the situation, guys. I just I just call the energy, but there's definitely a, a male energy here, and someone here is definitely disappointed, okay? Someone is feeling overwhelmed and disappointed, and I feel like someone is definitely considering severing a connection here put yourself where you go in this baby sharks okay let's see what's being juggled here why is it too no nah, i'm not ready yet the empress oh that that feminine wanted to come out huh why is it two of pentacles here for pisces in love for the end of june beginning of july 2020 why is the two of pentacles here for pisces someone is definitely maybe feeling overwhelmed someone may have more than one option here it may have to sever one connection or two of wands. See, there's a choice, a decision. Someone is definitely, I feel like someone is definitely feeling overwhelmed and maybe planning to take an action. Someone, some of you definitely may have two choices, Pisces. You could have two choices in juggling which one to end and which one to keep. Wow. Because there, this is Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. There's that Knight of Swords. There's the Severance. There's the, there's the swift action. Someone is needing to make a decision here. Someone's juggling. Someone's probably feeling overwhelmed and disappointed about something. There's the Lover. See, there's another decision or a choice. You could be dealing with the Gemini. But there we are, Pisces, Six of Cups. There's definitely something about soulmate connection here. Could be a twin flame situation going on here. Someone is seeking truth and clarity and, and have their eye on the prize. See, there's a Queen of Swords, a uh, Page of Swords, Ace of Cups, and there's the King of Swords. Yep. And, and as I have a Hierophant under here. For some of you guys, this definitely could be someone getting a divorce. Okay? Someone is definitely struggling in a situation. Unhappy, overwhelmed, want to take a direction. This is just what I'm seeing, Pisces. Why is the Five of Cups here for the Baby Sharks? Why is the Five of Cups here for the Baby Sharks? In love. Why is the Five of Cups here for Pisces, Spirit? Clarify the Five of Cups. Put yourself where you go on this, Pisces, because I'm just, I just pick up the energy. It is, it's real. The Magician and the Seven of Swords. See? Wow. Okay. And at the bottom of my deck, the Five of Swords. So there is some sort of conflict, some sort of competition. This could definitely be a third-party situation, okay? This is the energy of someone that wants to win at all costs, okay? Someone is trying to win at all costs, all right? And it's here with the magician with the seven of swords. This is this is male energy, Virgo, Gemini. But there's someone here that's a master manifester, okay? And this could be someone that's being sneaky here. Someone could definitely be sneaky here. Someone could have been dis someone dis someone could have been sneaky and disappointed you, Pisces, and now you're trying to figure out how to get out of this this uh connection. Or this is some this is some masculine energy here that's trying to that, that's probably feeling overwhelmed needs to take a direction and, try, and and probably trying to figure out how to do so. The Seven of Swords is a very sneaky, quiet energy, and there's some sort of mental conflict. This masculine energy could be locked in some sort of battle in another connection because I have the Five of Swords here, some sort of uh, competition. This could be jealousy, uh, manipulation. And see, I have someone seeking truth and clarity. Okay? Possibly spying. There, there's, a, there's a cold couple here. And if someone could be, like I said, for some of you guys, put yourself where you go on this. There could be definitely a masculine here figuring out how to try to get out of a situation. A marriage. 
Okay, or a legal contract here, because I have a king, a higher font, king of pentacles could be a Taurus, ace of swords. It could definitely be something legal here. Someone could definitely be disappointed about someone doing something sneaky here, okay? But someone is overwhelmed and needing to make some sort of decision, okay? Or, or, they're, or they're doing it. They're making a decision to sever something. Why is the four of wands here for Pisces? Why is the four of wands here for the Pisces? Why is the four of wands here? The Hierophant and the King of Pentacles. So now I have that Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Here's the Ace of Swords. I have Taurus in particular. I have Aries, Leo, Sag energy here. Okay. This is more ma masculine energy, Pisces. I do not <laughs> pick the story, okay? But there's a male energy here. He could be a boss or an authority figure. He could be married, okay? This could definitely be a marriage here. Someone could definitely be married. I told you guys this could definitely be a divorce situation. This could be this could it could be a masculine energy here that's um definitely thinking of severing this communication this uh this um collaboration that he's in. There's some sort of truth and realization that's coming in. Pisces women for some of you someone could be this this could be someone coming in proposing making the big making a big offer towards you wanting to speak some sort of truth after juggling and delaying this he could be keeping this shit to himself trying to figure out how he's gonna do it but there's definitely a male energy here there's some sort of truthful realization or truthful communication it could definitely be legal a legal situation involved here because i have legal cards the wheel of fortune you could be dealing with the sagittarius but there's that five of swords and I have a feminine energy seeking truth and clarity in this situation. And then there's wish fulfillment and a whole new beginning. Okay. Let's see what we got here for the Knight of Swords for Pisces. Why is the Knight of Swords here? This is some sort of swift action. Some sort of swift message. Some sort of fearless action or some sort of severance here. Why is the Knight of Swords here for Pisces? There's the Emperor. There's the Ten of Wands. Listen, there's something about a male energy here, Pisces. Put yourself where you go. I don't know if this is a boss, an authority figure, divine masculine husband. Husband, father, brother. There's a male energy here. He's getting ready to drop some sort of heavy burden. He's severing some sort of connection that he's in. It could be work. This could definitely be him leaving some sort of job quietly juggling how to leave his job quietly he's sneaking away he's overwhelmed he's tired of his job but there's definitely a male energy here pisces feminine look if this is just you and this energy you could be taking on this male this, this male energy but I, i'm specifically picking up masculine energy here but there is something about a male energy here okay and he's getting ready to drop some sort of heavy burden he's getting ready to make some sort of fit, fearless move here Some sort of contract or a commitment. You could be dealing with the Virgo. Here's a hermit. But there's somebody who's doing some deep introspection. Okay, if th this is definitely could be something about legal. This could be definitely somebody investigating <laughs> how to free somebody or something to that effect. But someone is doing some deep introspection here about severing something, letting go of some sort of heavy burden. It could definitely be either a marriage or, or, or a job or another commitment or contract. The hangman, there you go, Pisces. You're involved in this. Someone's getting enlightened, though. The Knight of Cups. Someone wants to come and rush in and offer love. They have a decision or a choice to make. Gemini, you could be dealing with the Scorpio or Gemini. But there's some sort of ending and transformation that's happening here, Pisces. Because someone wants to take a new direction. And I feel like they're waiting for this for some sort of illumination or abundance. And children could be involved in this as well. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see what we get on this Emperor. Then I'm getting out of here, baby sharks. Why is the Emperor here for the Pisces spirit? Clarify the Emperor here for Pisces and love for the end of... King of Swords. What's at the bottom of my deck? The Six of Pentacles. So listen, this is what I'm getting. Wow. The Knight of Pentacles. Here's the Queen of Swords. Page of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. So listen, there's a masculine energy here. This could definitely be a legal situation, Pisces. This could be a, 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 a judge, a, a, a policeman. I don't know who this masculine energy is, but he could definitely be some sort of authority figure. He could definitely be in the military and be in some sort of position of authority, a boss. But there's something here. About him making some sort of decision here. Okay? A huge decision. And I feel like it's to sever something that he's been given to. Something long term. It could be definitely children be, could be involved. Okay? I do feel like there 
there's a queen of there's a queen of swords here and put yourself where you go in here pisces this guy has has his eye on her okay and he sees this he sees this queen of swords as wish fulfillment there's some sort of truth that's getting ready to be spoken you could definitely be dealing with the sag because there's something about karma destiny and fate here but there's some sort of conflict there's been heartbreak and disappointment five of swords five of cups ten of swords but it's coming to an end and there's stress and worry involved in it, Pisces. And here we are, Queen of Cups, right in the middle of an injustice. So this is going to balance out whatever this is, Pisces. Whatever this is for you, this is going to balance out. But I'm definitely getting some masculine energy here. It looks like there's a masculine energy here getting ready to sever some sort of contract or commitment here. He's overwhelmed. Okay, he's juggling how to do this. He's disappointed. And I feel like he's planning and plotting and strategizing how to manifest some sort of severance here. And Pisces, this does not have to be your man leaving you. This could be a man leaving someone else, okay? But I definitely have masculine energy here. So put yourself where you go in this situation, all right? All right, guys, I love you. I, if the messages resonate, remember to give me a like, comment, subscribe, or a share. I hope I offered you messages of peace, love, light, and clarity. I bring messages to you guys really soon. Take care. Stay, stay up. Continue to look out for you, yourselves. And meditate and pray, guys. All right. Bye-bye, Pisces.